Welcome back everyone. Today I am going to be overwintering my banana plants. The temperatures are dropping tomorrow, it's going to be minus four tomorrow night and around that for the next week or so. So today's the day. I need to brave the cold and wrap everything up. So I'm basically going to be chopping the leaves off the banana plants. Alternatively, you can kind of just bend them down and cover them, but I just prefer to chop them off. As I mentioned before, the, the largest banana in this middle clump has flowered this year, so that's going to be dying back anyway, so I might just chop that down a little bit more, take a bit of height off it, um, just so that they're easier to cover. And the largest one at the back I'm not going to cover because it's too big, but I'll be filming the process. I also need to chop back the cannas and colocasia, and then I'll just be putting some wood chippings over these. I think I'm just going to leave the Alstroemeria and see what happens to it. I'm assuming that the frost will kill off the flowers and then it'll start dying back. It's just so pretty, I don't think I can face chopping this back just yet. I also need to trim back the honeysuckle. So I've got my bag of fleece here that I reuse every year. I've got some fleece bags that I use for the clumps of bananas and then just um, single bits of fleece for the other plants. Although I've already covered the sago palm. I'm just trying to think what else I need to cover. I usually um, would cover the bottle brush, but that's too big this year. Actually, I'll just show you how it's looking because it was flowering a couple of weeks ago. Still just that single flower on there, but it has got really big this year. I also usually cover the Schaeffleura when I know it's going to be frosty, but again, that's literally turned into a tree, so it's too big to cover this year. Um, so it'll just be mainly the bananas that I'll be covering, and I've already put fleece in the crowns of the tree ferns. The Canna Mucifolia did really well this year, it got really, really tall, so it will be a bit sad to chop it back, but has to be done. Colocasia is still looking pretty good as well. I did order one extra bag of garden fleece from Amazon. I have linked them all in my Amazon shop if you are looking to purchase garden fleece. So I've got the fleece bags on there and then the single fleece. One of the bags disintegrated a little bit last year so I just needed a bit extra. This is the mulch I'm going to be using this year to cover up the cannas and colocasia just picked up a big bag from one of my local garden centres. So this is the last time you'll see the garden looking like this until next year. I will miss it. And I'm just going to go ahead and start overwintering.
it's an hour later now and I'm still going a lot more work than I remembered here is the flower this is really heavy and look at the bananas how cute these are not edible oops the honeysuckle is pretty much down most of the leaves are off the largest leaf that I chopped down I've just measured the actual leaf is about six and a half feet and then it's about eight feet with the stem unfortunately I cannot reach the biggest leaves as I really wanted to measure them but this one is so tall I just can't reach it and I'm not getting a ladder out this is the banana that I'm not going to be covering this year most of the canners are chopped back and I didn't realize how much the mucifolia had actually multiplied the cocosmia there's some new shoots coming up which is a bit sad I'm gonna have to chop those back and the banana in the middle has multiplied quite a bit we've got one here I've got a little new one there and then there's another one around the other side as well because obviously we're going to be losing the big one in the middle but then we'll have these new ones next year so that's good the colocasia here I've chopped back I'll be putting some mulch over this one and then I just need to chop these little ones back as well but I just thought I'd show you how it's all looking so far such a mess it's going to take me absolutely ages to clear all this up so I've just taken off a little more height off the bananas just so they're a bit easier to cover and as you can see I have kind of cut them at an angle I do have like a special garden saw usually for doing this but I can't find it so I had to do my best using a bread knife <laughs> Um, so that should probably be a bit more angled, but never mind. Um, this one's going to die back anyway. Um, but yeah, I've just kind of taken a little bit more off the top and angled it just so that if any water does get in, it will hopefully just kind of run off them rather than sitting on it. Oh, here's my little friend. He's been following me around the garden. Oh. As you can see, I've just trimmed these down a little bit as well. Not that one. And also this one. So now I need to cover them. And I usually do add a little bit of mulch around the base of the bananas as well just to keep them nice and toasty for the winter. My phone battery died, so I just carried on whilst it was charging. I ended up double wrapping the bananas in the center. This one is wrapped with a single fleece. And then at the back, I have only wrapped this one here. I'm going to leave the big one and the one next to it. And then if there's any smaller ones, I'm also just going to leave those as well. I've just started putting some bark mulch over the canners and it is getting very cold out here. So I'm just going to continue mulching and then tidying up the huge mess that I've made. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you've enjoyed watching and it's been useful. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. Take care everyone, happy gardening, keep warm, and I'll see you all soon.